We first came to Canada in 1823 by British settlers, garrison troops, and members of the Royal Navy. It stated its development in Halifax, Toronto, and Montreal. In the 19th century, it developed in Vancouver, and BC soon became the best of the country due to the fact that they could play almost all year round because of their climate. Montreal was the first city to establish a rugby club in 1868. Halifax founded the Rugby Union Club in 1870. In 1914 and 1919, there was an interruption with provincial rugby unions due to the First World War. Many rugby players were a part of the military that were sent overseas. Only British Columbia and Nova Scotia played semi-regularly. During the Second World War, there were only three active provincial unions, British Columbia, Ontario, and Quebec. In 1974, the Canadian Rugby Union was formed and incorporated by the Government of Canada. William Gilbert invented the rugby ball. He originally was a shoemaker and bootmaker for the rugby school in Warwickshire. He used his stitching and sewing skills to make the rugby ball. Modern rugby balls are labeled Gilbert after him. In the 1820s, rugby balls were made out of leather casing and pink splatter. The shape of the ball was a plum shape and almost the size of a bowling ball. This was due to the pig's bladder. In 1870, the pig's bladder was replaced by rubber lining. Because the rubber lining was flexible, it caused the rugby ball to form into an egg shape. This Canadian rugby game was held in Montreal in 1865. It was English regiment officers and civilians, mainly from McGill University, that played against each other. After this game, clubs across Canada were established. In 1874, Harvard and McGill universities played the first international rugby game in North America. In 1902, it was the first time a Canadian team toured overseas. They went to the British Isles. After that, more teams from Canada had visit other countries like Japan, England, Wales, Ireland, Argentina, and Australia. Rugby Sevens was introduced in 1883, only 19 years after 15th. Each team had a total of 12 players, 7 on the field and 5 on the bench. One game of Sevens is 14 minutes long and consists of two 7 minute halves. Canadian Sevens team is an accomplished team. They won gold at the 2011 and 2015 Pan American Games, won a bronze medal at the World Games in 2013, and at the Rio Olympics in 2016, the Canadian women's team won the first bronze medal for Canada in rugby in the Olympics. The first Canadian rugby jerseys were made from cotton and they were long-sleeved. These jerseys were more of an advantage for the other team than for the Canadian players themselves. When it rains, cotton is not the material players want to be wearing because they will get cold and damp very fast, as well as water would get absorbed in the jersey. And since cotton is not a form-fitting material, there was excess material hanging, which would make it easier for the opponent to tackle. 2003, when Canadian rugby players got introduced to polyester jerseys. These jerseys were more practical and still used to this day because they are water-resistant and lighter. And since they are made of polyester, they are naturally designed to fit your figure, which means there is little to no excess material, making it more difficult for opponents to tackle you. But with these new polyester jerseys, the Canadian players were complaining that they found it extremely hard to hold onto the ball in wet conditions. So the company that designed Team Canada's jersey, Canterbury and Under Armour, added the same rubber material used on the balls and put some on the jerseys to help with the gripping issue. 